Welcome back everyone. Um, in this segment, we are going to deal with power and conflict. Now let's study what's meant by power. It refers to the capacity that A, a person named A, has to influence the behavior of B so that B acts in accordance with A's wishes. Now power, as you all know, the ability to make others work for you. So that means it's the tendency or the capacity that A, the person named A, has to influence the behavior of B so that B acts in accordance with A's wishes. Power may exist but may not be used. It is a capacity or potential. Now we all know that there are many countries who use nuclear weapons, those who have nuclear weapons, those who do not use it. So that's what it says, power may exist in the nuclear weapon technology but may not be used because why? When we use nuclear technology around the world, we should be really cautious because it causes hazards. So that's why it says power may exist but may not be used. Power is a function of dependency. The greater the B's dependency on A, the greater is A power A's power in the relationship. Think about a child and mother. The child is completely dependent on mother. Now the mother has got complete control over the child. So as the dependency of child increases on mother, the greater is the mother's power in the relationship. It is extra-organizational in nature and power can be constructive or destructive. Again, the case of atom bomb. It can be constructive or destructive. We can use nuclear technology to make um, power, to make electricity, or we can use it to destroy a nation. Now, what are the bases of power? Formal and personal power. Formal power, come, they are, the things that come under formal power are coercive, reward, legitimate and information. Personal, expert, referent and charismatic. Now let's study that in detail. Coercive, which is the formal power, the first one of formal power. Coercive power is dependent on fear. Fear of negative results, infliction of pain, generation of frustration and controlling. That means, think the case of, um, imagine the case of Adolf Hitler. How did he um, control the entire, almost entire Europe? Why? By on fear. Fear of negative results. Um, he had a propaganda that if you join the German army, you will be um, rewarded. But that was not the case. Reward. Next one. Opposite of coercive. People comply with wishes or directives because it brings the benefits. Example bonus. Now these are all self-explanatory. Reward. The minute you reward. For example, mother and child. Mother says that if you do such and such work, I would give you a chocolate. Now that is reward. We do have power, but still it's not coercive. It's reward. Now, the same case, the mother takes a um, ruler and says that I will smack you if you do not complete your homework. That is coercive. Then legitimate power. Structural position in the organization includes acceptance by members. Example, army captain. Legitimate power. Power, which is a structural position in the organization. Um, sepoys, then um, captains, majors, etc. Information, someone who possesses some kind of information, he has um, power over you. Access to and control of information, people who retains data or information that others need can make others dependent on them. Now imagine during the 1960s, there was a big race going on, who would come um, in the um, space, who would go into the space, the USSR and USA, they were always on fight. Now they had information, they had technological information. Now with that they had control over others. Expert power, personal. It is influence wielded as a result of expertise, special knowledge or skill. It has become one of the most powerful sources of influence. Example, tax consultant, doctors. Now that's because of the special knowledge or skill that they possess. The doctors, they, they, nobody can replace doctors, so they have certain skills. Surgeons, for example, is another category. Referent power. 
Referring power is based on the identification with a person who has desirable resources or personal traits develops out of admiration. Example, singers, celebrities, etc. They have referring power. Um, next one is charismatic. It is an extension of referring power stemming from an individual's personality or interpersonal style. For example, some people with them have good physique, really good body. Charisma, pure charisma, charismatic power. Um, examples like Kritik Roshan, Katrina Kaif, etc. These are all charismatic power holders.